hello welcome to wolf white tv thank you for stopping by my channel to watch my videos uh if you're new to my channel uh please hit the subscribe button so that whenever i drop new video you will not miss it and if you have been coming to my channel and never subscribed please subscribe so that you will continue to get my videos without missing any okay all right so today i wanted to talk uh i wanted to make a quick video to talk about um uh, invitation uh coming to visit somebody in the united states or coming for a visit and when you want to get invitation i've made a video in the past uh talking about you come into the United States without needing an um, invitation. Like you can come for a visit without you needing to get an invitation. And I still stand by it, okay? Uh, the reason why I stand by not needing an invitation is because um, you don't, uh, you, your ability to secure a visa is based on your merit. So the case, uh, what your reason for the uh, visa and their documentation that you are using to prove that, um, to support your case. And it's for uh, a non-immigrant visa, which uh, tourist visa, it falls under, then your ability to prove that you will return to your home country. So whether you secure uh, an invitation or not, that holds little weight to your case. At the end of the day, uh, the most important thing is you convincing the consular officer that you will return uh, after your visit or after the duration of your visit okay so uh let's get right into it so when you uh, apply for a tourist visa and you want to get an invitation so in what instances would you uh consider an invitation or would an invitation be necessary all right so as we all know in our families or among our friends you don't show up to somebody's house uninvited all right so let's say that you want to visit your friend and uh you you need to be invited to visit your friend if you're trying to come to the united states to visit uh some something there has to be an invitation especially a place that has restricted access like you cannot just enter somebody's house you cannot just uh attend a conference you you need some kind of invitation so especially when you're trying to visit family or friends and that you intend to stay with them throughout your visit or at some point within your visit, then you need an invitation. They need to extend you an invitation so you can stay there. Uh, one, one instance where this is also important is one other instance where this is very important is when you are not you know, paying for your own accommodation. All right, because if you're coming to the United States to go for like a tour, going to the Niagara Falls, going to Broadway, um, going to Disneyland, um, going to, you know, many places of attraction that is scattered all over the United States, you wouldn't need an invitation from anybody. All you need is just, you know, like your itinerary and then being able to prove that you will return to your home country. All right. But with this one so if your the purpose of your visit is to visit somebody uh in the united states like i said they need to extend your invitation so now what are the things that they would need to put in the invitation so if they are extending you the visit then they need to uh one requirement that they need to meet is that they need to be legal residents of the united states or they're citizens or a degree card holder they have to prove their status if you are an illegal immigrant in the united states you have illegal status or you have no status you are undocumented you cannot extend an invitation to somebody so when you uh extend an invitation to somebody you need to uh provide some evidence to show that you are you have status um or you you're a citizen you're a green card holder you need to show something that uh you have right to be in the united states all right the other thing is that if you are going to be responsible for any part of the person's trip I'm talking about finances. If you're going to be responsible for their accommodation, then you need to uh, include utility bill or your property deed with your name on it. Something, a bill that shows, that uh, correlates with an address with your name on it. 
so that they know that hey this is where i said the person is going to stay at or if you're booking a hotel for them then you need to provide the details of that the place where they're going to stay but if you say they're coming to stay with me in my house i have their bedroom house and they can stay in one room uh for this you know up to this period of time for their duration then you need to include some kind of utility bills phone cell phone bill something that has your house address which you and i want it all right and none of the things that i'm saying is required but these are things that you are using to prove or support your case that are uh, you the host or the hostess you will be able to you know help the person out throughout their visit um the other thing is that if you are uh if you plan on you know feeding them the entire time be financially responsible for them let's say you'll be taking a road trip to say uh, uh, uh out of town doing other stuff and you are going to pay for all of these things then you need to show you know something that shows that you are financially you know stable uh, because you know like you cannot just invite somebody I mean in our normal life I wouldn't invite somebody if I'm struggling so this is kind of just think of it that way so you need to show something like your bank statement or your the last three months paycheck uh, to show that hey you're making decent money that this extra person coming to stay with you for the duration of their visit is not gonna be a burden on your family on your household and on yourself all right so those are most of the typical things that you need to include in the invitation so invitation is basically a letter that you write address to you know whoever it's like to whom it may concern the sir or madam and then you address it to the embassy the embassy where the person will be interviewing that so you address it to them, you state your name, you state what you do, you state your relationship with the person, uh, you tell you, you you talk about the things that you'll be responsible for. If you know about the itinerary, like what they plan to do or what you plan to do with your friends, you list them in there, you you know, uh, you mention where they're going to stay, you list that address, if it's a hotel or if it's your house, you list that information there, and then you you know also mention that you have attached this documentation to prove that uh you are say you are a Greek card holder you are a legal permanent resident or you are a u.s citizen like your naturalization certificate and then um you include utility bills uh or for cell phone bills that show that you live at that address that you have listed you know and then you include you know um any other thing that would show that you are in a financial like you're financially sound to include another person on your um in your household or be financially responsible for somebody for you know this brief uh this uh brief visit but uh that will be all for it and you sign it make sure you sign you date and sign if you don't date and sign might as well throw it away okay um but what i would say to the person who is applying for the tourist visa and who is looking for this invitation for their friend or the family member whoever is extending the uh the invitation to them uh make sure that you know um you you know more about each other like you cannot just randomly say that i'm going to visit uh, a friend you haven't spoken to for years because when you go for the interview they're going to ask you things about you know your relationship to that person uh, and also don't rely solely on this information that you've been given don't rely solely on the invitation because at the end of the day the invitation proves that you will not be a burden on the american taxpayers the invitation proves that you are actually coming here to do this but it doesn't prove that you will go back to your country so as much as you put more effort in getting your invitation to come visit somebody in the united states don't don't sleep on you getting you know getting documentation to prove that you will go back to your country because at the end of the day uh, whenever you apply for non-immigrant visa which is all the temporary stay in the united states whether you're coming for school or you're coming for um a, a visit a business visit whatever the visit may be uh, there's always an assumption of immigrant intent. That means that you are always suspected, you are always suspected of coming to stay. That is how the American immigration system, that's how it is. So it's your job 
to prove that this is not what you plan to do. Uh, you, you, your job is to prove that when you come, you will return to your home country. All right. So I think, uh, I hope this will help you guys out. And, um, if you, you're trying to uh, get an invitation, uh, you will, uh, so that you can get it done. Right. Um, the other thing that I would say is that I made another video talking about why people, um, who, uh, who apply for non-immigrant visa. One of the top reasons why they get denied, uh, even with the same circumstances from different parts of the world. So you can watch that video. That would be like a, a part two of this video. I recorded them the same day. I just played them into two. All right. So you can check that video out. And also if you want to see the video that uh, I did about not requiring an invitation, to visit the United States, you can check that video out and see which one that you want you want to do. Because at the end of the day, the burden of proof lies on you, the applicant, not uh, the consular officer, not the person that you're coming to visit. It's up to you to prove that you will return to your country at the end of your visit. All right, guys. So I'll end it here. If you enjoy my videos, please like, thumbs up on my videos, comment below, and I'll be happy to you know uh, respond to that. I share most of my videos on my Facebook page, the official Facebook page. That's what 40 TV. Most of the videos that I share here, I've done them right there. Okay. So you guys can uh, follow my Facebook page. Please like my page. Follow me on that page. Uh, when you, uh, you can send a message to me and I can uh, respond to that. I have another uh, group that is uh, moving to America slash for 40 TV. Anything that has to do with immigrating to the United States, uh, you can, you know, talk about that in that group. I have some free resource material there. Um, I have another, uh, two other groups. Uh, one is Green Card Lottery Africa. So if you are into the Green Card Lottery, uh, we are waiting for the last year entry to, you know, be, uh, selected in May. I'm excited for that. But if you're new to it and you haven't, or you haven't heard about the Green Card Lottery, please subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss update on that and you can join that group it doesn't matter where you come from we just want people who are truly interested in the great car glory please don't spam us in that group because if you spam us we're gonna kick you out okay um you can join great car glory ghana and that is for Ghanaians uh, especially but we welcome anybody you can join us uh, so long as you're interested in greek out notary you want to learn about it whether you've been selected or not hey uh, we're there to you know provide you guidance and help through your journey um but please don't spam us there too like we don't take spamming in any of those groups so if your intention is to be spamming us with videos that has nothing to immigration you're gonna get kicked out all right uh, you be free, feel free to ask any question uh, as to, uh, with regards to immigration. That's nothing as a dumb or stupid question. One group that I'm affiliated with will be Great Car Lottery, that she would say in bracket Zambia. Uh, that great, uh, that group is awesome. That uh, the admin provides wonderful updates about the uh, Great Car Lottery process, and they have more people on that group has been around longer than any of my groups so you should join her group and check her group out also that too it doesn't matter whether you're from zambia or not she welcomes you in that group and also don't spam her group too all right so guys you can join as many groups as you like you want to be in as many groups as possible so that things that may be shared one group and not the other you don't miss it because you're in all of them all right so guys, I love you for all the support and uh, um, all the support, your kindness. It has been more than I could ever imagine. I really love and I appreciate you guys. Please keep subscribing, sharing with your friends and family. All right, because don't wait until you need an American visa for you to find out what is going on. Watch my videos and some of the past videos will be uh, remaking them as you know, I'm improving and getting better. All right. I love you guys. Thank you. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.